he wants to work with people over here on the Hill, and he's just not used to, in the private sector, having people that are reputedly on his side uh, conspiring to keep him from getting what he promised. Uh, and that's that's what we've seen. Republican leaders, elected leaders, I use that term loosely, but they're elected, uh, they have really, they were not for a wall before he got elected, as uh, Paul Ryan, very decent, honorable person, he was saying before the uh, the election, we didn't really need a wall. And if you recall, just a few weeks before the election, uh, we were told by Paul, by our elected leaders, that, uh, gee, the only way that we can keep the House uh, majority is just all of us start running against the president. Fortunately, we had enough people, one after another, on the call that pushed back so hard they backed off of that. But uh, they've never really been in favor of the wall. And, you know, in private, in the private sector, Trump knew if somebody that was on his side undermined him, uh, there'd be hell to pay. They, right. He was apparently not uh, shy of suing people that didn't keep their promises and so he's not used to being in a government setting, even two years later, where people that are uh, supposedly on his side are not trying to help him as they say they are. What? That-